Right, welcome back to Sports Talk Florida. I am David Bowman. It's a, a thrill to get Justin Hilton, wide receiver of the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, in studio with us. Justin, uh, putting forth some efforts with some uh, charity fundraisers this weekend. A fun event uh, coming up uh, in Orlando Saturday, March 30th. Justin, you get another crack at it this year, man. What, what do you have to do to uh, show this team that, that you're, you're worthy of a roster spot? I mean, you just got to produce and perform, man. It's it's. You know, like Orson said, it's a business, and it's a kind of what have you done for me lately type of thing. And uh, I'm excited to be in there, man. I, I like being in the fire, and it uh, makes me that much more grateful being undrafted and, and, and kind of keep it on the grind like that. It's uh, uh, much to be appreciated. You know, Orson's from a big school like a Georgia. You're coming out of Indiana State. Being from a smaller school, is it a tougher road? Uh, I mean, I would think so. I mean, people may may say it's biased wherever they're coming from, but, um, you know, it's – you know, everybody's different, man. I mean, you have some small school guys that end up making it out big. It just, you know, depends on kind of your route, you know, taken. I, I came from a Juco out in California for two years and then only got two years at a Division One school like Indiana State. So, I mean, there's there's all different kind of factors. But, you know, the fact is, is I'm here now and, and uh, ready to contribute. Uh, Orson, uh, what's it like to see Justin battle? You know, he got his uh, shot early on in the year and then he's gone and and then they get him, uh, give him a call, and, and sure enough, he's back uh, right, right b- before the postseason. Uh, what's it like to see um, a guy like Justin battle? I mean, it was definitely good because Justin was one of the guys I was pulling for. Not, not so because he was from Florida, but he was a hard worker and, and just a great, guy, just a great kid outside of football. So, you know, when they cut him, I was like, dang, they, I mean, they're gonna do my boy like that. But when he came back, he, like you can see the fire, and you can see that he wanted to stay on the team. He wanted to make the play, you know, to keep the coaches on there. So. Uh, Justin, definitely one of my boys that I'm pulling for. Did he have to cover you? Uh, is he playing a little defense, too? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't have to cover me because he's not playing outside linebacker. But uh, he did play a little corner and coaches acting, too. And I'm, I'm happy that he can do that and be versatile. Good deal. The thing, the thing about Cincinnati is what I like about being there is you have very few guys that's, you know, that's been in the league five, you know, seven-plus years with the exception of our, you know, DBs, which, which is actually a thing that I like. Uh, you know, you get to compete against – you know, seven or eight uh, first-round draft pick DBs that's been doing it a long time. Uh, you can't really get that at any other NFL organization, so that kind of makes you better and, and, and a big part of why AJ is so good as well, um, battling with those guys day in and day out. But, you know, I, I think that we're on the right track, definitely. Uh, you know, put together two back-to-back playoff runs, um, you know, to get in the playoffs uh, two years consecutively. And, uh, you know, I think we're on the right track, man. All of our coaching staff is all on the same page. They're very enthusiastic. Everybody loves coming to work every day, and everybody's just, uh, you know, everybody's a real pro at, uh, at work. Yeah, Justin, just uh, just tell us where we can find you this weekend. How can anybody get involved in it? Is, is everybody invited? Yes, definitely. It's, uh, you know, from 8 to 11 at a draft uh, beer club and lounge uh, right across from the Amway Center, uh, downtown Orlando. I believe it's on West Church Street. Um, and yes, it's open to the public from eight to eight to eleven. It's it's all for a good cause. Uh, you know, any, anybody in the uh, greater Orlando area. So just uh, come out and celebrate with us. <laughs> <laughs>